Hi everyone, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV and we are right now in uh, direct Skype lig uh, liaison with uh, Dr. Wiz from South Africa. Hey man, how are you? Hey, yeah, what well, yourself, Truthman? I'm uh, doing great. Um, can you just present yourself a bit for the people that don't know you uh, quite yet? Yeah, uh, my name is Andrew from South Africa. Um, been overclocking for a couple of years and yep. Yeah, Enjoying it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you compete in the MSI Master Overclocking Arena this year? Yeah, look, I uh, competed in 2012 and uh, Vivi and myself managed to get through. I uh, had a whale of time. I love Taiwan, so the, any chance I get to go back, I'll take it. <laughs> so you're trying to get a free trip, that's what? Well, yeah, I want to, to get back to Taiwan, go visit the place, and uh, obviously competing in the, the sport I love, it's uh, an added bonus. Yeah, of course. Uh, you did compete yeah. in Class B, so why did you choose Class B instead of Class A? Yeah, the look, the, the rules this year were, and last year as well, limit the number of people that can can take part per country. So with uh, both Vivian and myself being strong competitors, uh, there's no point in us going off and fighting head to head against each other when only one person can go. So we, we decided to split it up and uh, Vivi went with Class A because he wasn't able to class, uh, take part in Class B and I just went with Class B. Okay. And I must be honest, it, it was a very fun stage, it was very fun uh, compared to Class A. Yeah, actually Class B was the, the most successful stage so far. Uh, do, you, do you think that's because of the requirement for the hardware or because it's something with the special Pentium Anniversary Edition that drives people in? Yeah, I think it was um, accessible by more people. So the the hardware limitations, you didn't need to go and spend uh, three thousand US dollars to 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 start. You could start off with a thousand US dollars. Um, so it's more accessible and definitely played a role. Yeah, indeed. Um, how did you prepare for for this competition for this class B and B MOA? How many liters of LN2 did you use, for example? Yeah, um, look. Preparation was absolute key. So the very first thing we did when they announced the hardware, I uh, rushed out and bought two cards, um, the one gigabyte uh, 750 cards, and pre-tested that. Uh, following that, I eventually tested 25 Pentium chips, and we only managed to find three gems out of those 25. As far as LN2 is concerned, it was upwards in about 100, 100 kgs of LN2. Okay, so you did bin a lot. So, do you think you, you someone could have competed in Class B without binding binning any CPUs? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, if you look at our one teammate here in South Africa, uh, he bought two CPUs. Both of them were absolute gems. Uh, I was just unlucky with with my brown fingers. <laughs> so, you guys are actually quite lucky in South Africa to have uh, good batches of uh, of Pentium Anniversary Edition. Yes, yeah, we we were quite lucky. <laughs> Um, uh, so far, when we did this interview, uh, quite a few hours before the end of, uh, of the ranking, uh, you were ranked first. Uh, so far, what is your best, uh, the, the score you are the most proud of? Yeah, look, it would have to be the, uh, I'm proud of all the scores, put it that way. I had some great efficiency in, in Cinebench at uh, 6070, um, but definitely the 3 Mark 3 score, uh, with no, no e-power required, uh, we just killed it. Uh, uh, 2050 on the on the GPU, the thing just machined. It was awesome. So I actually like reached like a, a 120k points. So that's what actually like eh, yeah al almost 1,000 points more than uh, the the second one that is Stepanzi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, that, that the little car just just flew. It just didn't want to stop. Uh, <laughs> it just it was good good going. So at the end, it's like keep pushing, keep pushing, and it's keep going and keep going. Yeah, and always, always pre-test your hardware. You don't have to go and jump into e-powers until you actually hit that wall. Yeah, that's that's what we enjoyed. I enjoyed that the most about the card. It's no e-power required. <laughs> I see. That's actually quite great. So you didn't have to. Yeah. You just had to buy the hardware and plug it and play with it then. Yeah. yeah look, we, the the mods that MSI released uh, were great, and they, they they worked up to a point. But there was an additional mod that we did, uh, which is on the feedback pin of the controller, and that gave us the extra edge, you know, to be able to go up to 1.7 volts on the GPU. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, we do appreciate that you took uh, some time. It's actually quite late for you, so to to take this yeah. interview. Um, we hope to yeah. see you in Taiwan uh, for the final, and uh, hope until then you can uh, keep pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Bye. <laughs>